Yeah, I want to say a big thank you to all of you that have been commenting and subscribing on this channel. And for those of you that have not subscribed, even before you watch this video, like the video, give it thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah, for those of you that have been following us on our live stream section, you've been asking so many questions, and that is what I want to do today. Answer one of them that you said I should make an off shoulder blouse, just like this that you're seeing. If I'm not to achieve this, go nowhere. Wait to the end of this uh, vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for those of you that have also joined us during the live stream, We've come out with African uh, Designers Forum, ADF. The procedures to be part of it is just for you to be an African. Just follow the link. Go and watch the live stream. And we're, we're synergizing Africans all over designers. And anywhere you are, if you have the African blood, you can join. So, go nowhere. Let's go to the cutting table and let's get it done. Yeah, yeah. As easy as A and B can say. Gotcha. So, right now, cutting out your pattern before cutting on the fabric, or you could cut directly on the fabric, anyone you like. So, you just do your horizontal dimensions like this. The bust line is 10 inches. This is the origin. The bust line is 10 inches. The underbrush is 13 and the half. The half length is 17 and the blouse length is 22. The blouse length is 22. I'm actually going to do a turn up. I'll make the lining 20 inches. I'll use 20 inches of turn up. It's like a, uh, a crop top, just like so. So, right now, this is the bust line and the and the like. So what determines how low your off shoulder is, how really off, some people make it come to their cleavage. What determines how off your shoulder, your off shoulder is, or how low, how wide it is, is your neckline. So for this, I'm going to be using five inches, or I could use five and a half. If you really want it low, you could use lower than that. And But basically, off shoulders are five inches, four inches. Then with that, you come to the dart and you do the princess that and the sleeve and we're done. It's as easy as A and B and C. So I'm going to start with imputing the dart in. To impute the dart, the normal dart, before we get to the princess that it's so easy, what I'll just say is I'll come to this waistline. I'm going to be using two inches dart. Two inches dart. So from this waistline, I'll just say what's my shoulder to, uh, nipple to nipple measurement. Eight, I'll divide by two. That means I have a... What's it called? I have a four. So having four like so, from this waistline or the underburst line, same for both. I'll, I'll get it across both the waistline, the underburst line, the bust line. And we get our chest line. Getting our chest line, I think, let me just quickly explain this. Getting your chest line, it's so easy. Getting your chest line, before you get your chest line, you're going to use the calculation bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. And that will give us 7.8. 7.8, let me get my shoulder. The shoulder is 15. 15 divided by 2 is going to give us 7 and a half. 7 and a half. So, so right now, from this shoulder point, I'll just get my bust line, which is... Uh, 7.8 like this. I'm not going to slant it because there is no uh there's no shoulder slant in this, it's off shoulder. That's why there's no shoulder slant. So this 7.8, this is the chest line. They call it some persons call it upper bust line, chest line, whatever you wish to call it. So that's just it like this. So having your upper chest line like this, you already have your shoulder dimension. Like so. So, on this right now, you're going to have, let me just do the neckline before I continue. Having a neckline, you're going to have this neckline to be what? You could use five and a half or whatever. Let me just use five and a half inches. Then on this uh, shoulder, on this shoulder line, you come down by two and a half inches. Then you connect. I want like a curvy line. I don't want it really straight. I want it to be curvy a bit. So I'll just connect with this curve too. If you want a sweetheart neck, all you do is just come like this. Then you draw the sweetheart. If you want a straight neckline, whatever you want. So I want like a curvy neckline, like so. So I could just place it like this. Perfect. So you just join this two and a half inches on the shoulder line to this neckline, like so. It's so easy. If you want a straight, uh, neckline, you could just really straight. And I showed you the sweetheart, or you could just do 
and you do your sweet tart like so. But this is just like this, a curved uh, neckline. So whatever tool you have, you have to just make it curvy a bit. So having this right now, we're now going to go to drawing out my shoulder, uh, the normal that. Drawing out the normal that, it's so easy, just like I've told you. So getting our normal that before we cut out the princess that, uh, you're going to, you can start from your bust line, but if you don't want it to be so, the darts to be so prominent on the bust, you can come down by half inch or one inch from the bust line. So that's the four inches nipple to nipple down to the uh, waist line. We're going to be taking one inch of both sides, two inches that. If you want, you could take one and a half inches that or two and a half inches that. Then I'll, I'll extend it to the end line of the blouse. So I'll just come to this waist line. I'll take one inch on both sides. So, so I'll take same one inch on the underburst, same that two inches that on the underburst position. If you want the underburst to be really prominent, you can take two and a half inches on the underburst. It will make the underburst to really shoot out. But for this, I'll be taking two inches. That's one inch on both sides. So I'll connect. Just like so. Then I'll extend it to the M line. So with this, we've taken our regular that. So what we're left right with right now is to connect it to the arm or to do the posture. But before that, I will just like us to take our sleeve. Our sleeve, taking your sleeve, you measure your biceps. What you have there, this bicep, this is your big arm, where you want the sleeve to stay on what you have there you divide it by four i'll be i'm gonna be using 12 12 divided by four is going to give me three three inches so just extend this like this this three inches so you curve it out so you might actually need to curve it out very well here because this neckline is a curved neckline so might actually need to so just like so so with this right now you take the length of the sleeve maybe you want three inches length sleeve length or two and a half or four inches so i'm gonna be using three inches length so i'll take the three inches here then i'll come here i have three inches here then I'm going to add half to it to get three and a half or three three quarter inch here. Then I'll take the same three inches. With this, you have your sleeve cut out. Then for the hand hole, you just get your bust measurement. The bust I'm using is 38 divided by four, it's giving us nine and a half. So you had the two inches that allowance you took away. So you just connect. This is what you use to connect your hand hole, to connect your arm, to do your hand hole depth. So with this right now, we are now to draw out our princess that. Drawing out our princess that, it's pretty easy. So for the princess uh, cut to the shoulder, this is the shoulder line. You just take it from here and connect it to this uh, dart. And we're done with the princess seam. But to, to get the dart, you could just take quarter inch on both sides. If you want to use half inch, you could use half inch on both sides. So on this line, just take half inch or quarter inch on both sides. I could just say quarter inch, three and half inch that. So you just connect 
this to this line with that. So with this, you cool. And what you just need right now are the horizontal dimensions. So for the bust, taking the bust, we come to the waistline. The waist is uh, 30, 34. 34 divided by 4 will give us 8 and a half. So you're going to have these 2 inches that we've taken out as that. Then you had 1 inch for stitching them together. And another 1 inch. 1 inch for stitching them together. And another 1 inch seam allowance. So, so important. So you could add the seam allowance on your fabric. So you come here also, you take the blouse hip you want to achieve. I'm going to use 40. So I have my 10 like so. Then I had, this is not up to two inches. So I could just add two inches for four, both the seam allowance and what I'm going to remove. Then I have my burst. Let me take the burst, nine. Nine and a half. Yeah. I had same two inches because I'm not going to take up to two inches. So I'll just connect the lines together. So it's advisable you add one more inch for joining for both bust line and all the lights. It's better you be on the safer side than having shortage. That was why I had it like this. So with this, we're pretty, we're good to go. We just cut out and now use this to cut the back panel. And remember, you have to put half inch uh, seam allowance. Trace out the front bodies right now to trace out and use it to trace out the back bodies. What I've done is that I've taken the dart for the back, and let me just explain to you, just the normal dart, the, the dart, there is no bust, so I'm using one inch dart from the waistline. I took one inch dart to the to one inch above the burst because you know that uh, one inch uh, below the chest line, I mean. So just like that, and I've taken it like this. If you want this normal dart, it's okay, but if you want the princess dart for the back, we also achieve that. So I've taken the normal dart for the back. This is the zipper allowance. So we just use this, we place like so chest line, bust line, just like that, and just get out this shape to the armhole area. So I'll add half inch for this uh, armhole point, just like this. So we we'll now take our horizontal dimensions. Let me straighten up. So right now, getting the princess that is pretty easy. If you want the normal that, it's okay this way. You just cut out. But if you want the princess that at the back, the, from this bust line, that's where you connect, just to the armhole. Just like so. So this 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 for that. Then we take our horizontal dimensions. The bust is nine and a half. That's thirty eight. Thirty eight divided by four. Then you had the two inches allowance. Then we had it. Then you come to the under bust is thirty four divided by to the waistline. I mean, then when you're stitching, please take your under bust dimension too. When I stitched mine, I did it and it was nice. So eight and a half. Then you the dart you took away here is one inch. So you just put the one inch and one inch for joining them together. So we come here, the hips is uh of the blouse is 40 divided by four, that's 10. You had your one inch, or you could add two inches just to be on the safer side. Then you connect. And with this, 
you're ready with your princess that. So I'll just use this to cut out the fabric and the lining right now, stitch and you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, cutting out the darts. So you just come like this. And don't forget to smooth in the dart edges. So you could call this hat A, front panel, front A, and front part B. It's so necessary you do this so that you're not confused by the time you do it on your fabric as well. So you go to cutting out the back panel, just same way. For the back, I don't need to add any dots. Back A and back B. And with this, you just use this. We have a front panel. And we have a back panel of a princess that, uh, of a half shoulder blouse. So we just use this. I cut out the fabric and lining right now. Stitch. Yeah. So right now, just using your pattern to cut out. This is the front panel and this is the lining. I want you to see. This is the back panel. So this is the front panel. So to pad it, this is your wording of visible pillow. You just fold like this. You fold into two like this. Then from the chest line that you've drawn, you know the chest line is 7.8. From the chest line to the under breast line. So you just cut out the shape of the wording like this. You fold the wording and cut out. And also on the side from this uh, chest line points also to the underbrush such that by the time you'll be stitching, you just stitch like this. So it's going to be like this on the half hole. So you just stitch and make it curve and connect just like this. So you get to the last point. Yeah, and for the same thing for the back panel. So I'm going to stitch the lining separately. I'll stitch the fabric separately. So this is the front panel. After stitching the middle panel and the side panel, then you put your uh, wording and uh, notch it and relax it. Then you have your lining also stitched out this way, just like you stitch the front panel. So what we'll do is that we just place the lining like this to finish this up. Just place lining. You know, this is like a crop top. So I made the lining to be two inches shorter. So I want to use the fabric to do the turning in. So you place the right side of the lining on the right side of the fabric like this. Then you, you start from the M line, you stitch together. So it's going to take it up, like turn up. Then you now stitch the sides and every other part, but you leave like two inches or three inches on each on one side to be able to turn it in out. And with this, your top will be ready. Right now, this is the back panel. I've just I've fixed the zipper. And this is the front panel. I've joined them via the handle. Then this is the front panel. This is the front panel. So what I'm gonna do, remember I told you it's a crop top. I just used two inches for the turning in. So I'm just gonna take the right measurement right now, the burst, the waist, uh, oh, I'm just going to take the hips, then I'll stitch and you see. Yeah, by the time I was done with stitching, this one that I came out with, and I want to do yours and tag me on Instagram at Central Fashion. Whatever you learn on this channel, just tag me at Central Fashion on Instagram. And you can also join our online school. There is 50% discount right now during this coronavirus only. Just WhatsApp us on our number showing below. And remember to stay safe and stay calm. And I want you to support me by watching my other channel, Sectors Blog, the link will be below. We are talking about interesting things, things you have to know as Africans, as uh, world citizens, 
during this global pandemic. So please, you have to tune in to Search of Blood to join us. And you can also be part of our Patreon to support us on this channel. Yeah, 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 support us now. And have you subscribed? Subscribe, like this video, encourage me now how to be in the kitchen cooking for my husband and get there, Mr. Seto. I encourage you by liking this video and sharing. Till I come your way next time, catch you, love you. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.